As we edge closer to the 2021-2022 EFL Championship season, of course, my thoughts may have changed since my insanely early door predictions way back at the end of May. Have they or have they stayed the same? We'll take a little look next. Back once again with another prediction video today. We'll take a look at the 2021-2022 Championship season. Of course, and we're going to give you my predictions from, of course, the bottom, the relegation spots, all the way to the tip of the top, who will be going up to the Premier League. We'll take a look at that, of course, in just a second. Of course, if you're new, where you been, boys? Smash your subscribe and I'll get your bang up today. All things championship related, but we're always related. Whoa, football related. We're going to know here on the one Ruski. Goodness gracious me. Yes, right. Of course, transfer window is wide open. Manager Romero go round has been round and round again. Of course, and we've seen some new faces add to to my, uh, uh, of course, uh, the championship since my last predictions back in the end of May, which, of course, I probably changed it up a little bit over in the championship. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Of course, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the Patreons. And if you want to join the Patreon gang, check out that link down below. Patreon.com forward slash overseas. So here we go. There we go. Back into the, in the middle of the vortex. Here it is. And we're going to start right smack dab in the middle. Uh, around about 13th or something. Going all the way down uh, to uh, to the bottom. And then, of course, we'll do the top half of the table. And I'm going to tell you, remind you, of course, my predictions for this, these clubs uh, that I did make back in May. Have they gone up? Have they gone down? Not much major change, but there is a little bit. So here we go. Kick it all off then, shall we? With Millwall into 13th spot. I did have them as 15th last time. So they're upgraded a little bit. But I have updated them a little bit since I last uh, did a prediction. Of course, uh, transfer-wise, they've got the likes of Scott Malone has been brought in. George Long as well from Hull City. George Savile has been brought from Middlesbrough as well. Uh, Benica Phobie. Is that, is that uh, happened or has he returned? Uh, I think he has been brought in from Stoke as well. As the players going out, they've lost the likes of Sean Williams, Shane uh, Ferguson. Uh, uh, Frankie Field has also been binned off as well. So, yeah, a little bit of a step up on that one. Again, Mill are one of those teams that are just going to grind out the results. Uh, might flirt with the, with the playoffs a little bit. Like they did last season. Uh, but ultimately, I think they'll end up in mid-table. Of course, quick look at the bookies' odds for the uh, promotion stakes. Um, uh, Millwall coming at you 25 to 1 to go up. They're around about 3, 6, 9, 10th, 11th favourites. I have them a little bit less than that. But 13th in the end, which will be okay. And again, upgrade from my first prediction way back in May. Uh, joining them into 14th is Barnsley. That's why I had Barnsley as high as 9th. But of course, they've lost uh, Ishmael Valerier and whatever his name is. Uh, monster, monster to loss to them. They could even be further down than this. I think this is such a massive blow to them. Uh, and again, it's kind of rectified with the, when you look at the transfer business. Not really much going on in the, in the transfer market. But they have uh, brought in a new manager, Marcus Shop, coming in from Austria again. They've, they've, they've gone down this road a few times and, and previously. It's been okay, but not really uh, blown away. They've also lost Alex Mauer. It's been a, a massive uh, a f a part of their uh, progress moving forward. It's also gone to West Brom, joined uh, Ishmael over there. Uh, the board likes to have to from Motherwell. Doesn't really ring me with confidence. Um, and some other signings as well. Jack Elkinson from Forest Green. Uh, is that uh, players going out? I think it's gone out. Uh, but yeah, to be fair, not really blown away by Barnsley, and I think they could even be further down than this. Uh, I've not looked at the bookies' odds for Barnsley. Barnsley have actually, uh, where are they? Uh, they're actually still up there at uh, ninth favourites. Goodness gracious me, 20 to 1. They actually got better odds than uh, than the, the likes of Blackburn on this one. Uh, for me, though, oh, well, equal odds as Blackburn, but for me, yeah, I can't see anything but, but, but lower echelons, and they'll be struggling to stay in this division, I think, this time around. Massive loss uh, in that one. Next event, of course, we have 15 spot now. Birmingham, now we're a bit controversial on this one because I think they're going to actually be much stronger than this. Uh, um, uh, they brought in some very good signings. Uh, Chuck Sanike is coming from Charlton. You will get goals. Dean Sanders has been brought in from Wolves, of course. Uh, a lot of Premier League clubs were sniffing around him as well. Uh, Tahiti Chong coming in from Manchester United. Uh, Fanny, uh, what else have we got there? Jordan Graham. Uh, Ryan Woods, solid defensive midfielder there. Players going out. Uh, Mikel San Jose has gone back to Spain. Um, some other fighters as well, some other young guns. But again, I do anticipate much better improvement on them. I think they do still like a striker. Uh, or Chaks and EK will get goals, so you'll be all right on that. Birmingham coming at you. Um, around about 40 to 1 at the moment to go with the distance on this one for me. The 15th again, that was an upgrade, or was it a downgrade? Um, I had Birmingham around about 12 last time, so I've gone backwards a little bit, which, I, which is a little bit wrong. Uh, but anyway, hey, we're going to stick with it. 15th as well for Birmingham for this one, but again, it could change. Uh, I'm going to do another live prediction show on the week of the start of the 
the season, so we'll come back for that, uh, see if anything changes in the next two or three weeks in transfer business-wise. Uh, kicking off into 16th, we have Stoke, and again, an upgrade from 21st. Uh, Stoke are moving in the right direction. They brought in uh, uh, Ben Wilmot's coming in there, Mario Vanicic coming in from Norwich as well, Jack uh, Bonham's coming in from Gillingham as well. Uh, players going out, they've lost a couple of players. Uh, Nathan Collins, big loss at the back there. Kevin Wilmer's also gone. Uh, Ryan Woods, loss in midfield. Joby McHale, also gone. Uh, Bruno Martins indy has been released to the AZ Alkmaar. Liam Lindsay's gone to Preston as well. Benicophobia as well. We talked about that already. Uh, Lars Sorensen's gone to Lincoln as well. So, yeah, major loss. Big of a turnaround. Stoke City coming at you at around about... Uh, where the heck? Oh, they can't. I don't know. They don't know because I'm going to look at the bet three six five. But for me, six team spot is an upgrade off twenty first. Uh, I think maybe a bit of a, a bit of a boring season up ahead for Stoke, but ultimately they'll still they'll still be around and again quite comfortably away from the relegation spots. Into seventy spot we have Hull City, of course, newly promoted from League One. Um, the most important things we're keeping the likes of uh, Malik Wicks. Uh, of course, has been a revelation the last round. Of course, they brought in Andy Cannon from Portsmouth. George Monkers been brought from Luton. Randall Williams as well uh, from Exeter City. Players going out. Max Clark's gone to Fleetwood. Jordan Flores has gone to Northampton. To Reece Burke's gone to Luton, George Long as well has gone to uh, Millwall as well. Um, Grant McGann still again. He's of course last around. Of course, in the championship with McGann in charge, they did go down. I uh, do anticipate a, a, a struggle, a struggle season. They're about 40 to 1 to, to, to go the distance. The same odds as Birmingham on this one uh, for me, though. They'll be all right into 17th place. Uh, of course, they, they. I don't think they should have went down in the first place, but they're back anyway uh, to compete uh, in the middle, uh, middle, middle of the bottom half of the table. Into an 18th spot, we've got Preston North End again. Preston North End in my eyes, last round were 14th. The next up, we have Preston North End, that's right, of course, 18th spot for them. Now, of course, last time around, they have them as 14th, so they're going backwards a little bit. I'm not really impressed with their appointment of Frank McAvoy, I think, uh, again, first manager, major managerial appointment for him. Uh, they brought in Izzy Brown, but, of course, uh, on a free... But he's already out injured, which is a big loss. Matthew Ulla Sunday has also been brought in from Rotherham, which is a good pick up at right back. Liam Lindsay as well has been brought in as centre back. Uh, it might be a loan, it might be a permanent deal, not too sure. Billy Bowden's been binned off. Josh Guinea's also gone as well. Graham Burke's gone to Shamrock. Rose Lewis Mott's gone to Burton Abbey. Jane Stock has gone to Charlton as well. Uh, Sam Sepp Vandenberg has gone back to Liverpool. Of course, Paul Gallagher has packed it in uh, as well. So they've been, they've been trying to clean up the house a little bit and, of course, trying to get the things into tip top shape. Preston Comanche 33 to 1 at the moment. They are, uh, of course, uh, ninth favourites to go down. I do have them at 18th spot, which will be safe as ours is, but of course they want to be closer to the top. But unfortunately not this season. In the 19th spot we have Bristol City again. I have them at 18th last time. They're going down even a little bit closer but closer to that drop zone. Of course, again a red, uh, red uh, Nigel Pearson's come in last time. Didn't really uh, win me over. Uh, a lot of people wanted him as manager across the championship. I don't know why. I'm not really, I haven't seen anything. Of course he did do well with Leicester, um, but uh, not done so far good with uh, Bristol City. Matty James has been brought in from Leicester City. Andy King's been brought in from the, 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 the Belgian League again, formerly of Leicester City as well. Uh, players going out, Frama Diodaru has been gone to uh, Alassane Spore over in the Turkish League. Henry Lansby has been gone to uh, Luton. Liam Walsh gone to Swansea. Joe Walcott has gone to Swindon Town. Tommy Rowe has gone to, to, to Doncaster. A lot of play other players, including Avrin Marapa. Hakim uh, Adelaide has also been released and some other ones have gone as well. So yeah, it doesn't really ring me with confidence for Bristol City. And again, I think they're going to go backwards instead of going forwards. 33 to 1 to get the title, uh, but unfortunately for me, closer to the drop than the top. Into 20th spot we have Blackpool. Of course, they were 19th last round. Of course, this week, off the charts, they've just secured the services of uh, Jerry Yates for a few more years. Signed a lucrative deal, which will keep uh, the, the scavengers at bay. Uh, they brought in the likes of Josh Bowler, Reese James, not that one, but another one. Uh, who else they brought in? Daniel Grimshaw from Manchester City. Callum Conley has also been brought from under-23s. Richard Keogh has also been brought in the veteran from Huddersfield as well. Players going out. Nathan Shaw's gone to file. Liam Phoenix has gone to Tranmere. Ollie Turton's gone to uh, Huddersfield Town. Uh, Suli Kakai's going to work with him as well. Uh, and some other players as well. Again, they, they could go down, but of course, I uh, I think now Chris Lee is you know, Chris Lee's one of the, um, the, the the young younger upper cabin manager. I think he'll do a fantastic job this season, sticking around anyway into uh, 20th. Even though it's a bit of a downgrade on last round, it's just enough to stick in the division. But they're going to go down 66 to one. They are joint favourites to go down alongside. Peterborough United, who I am in 21st spot. That's right. So Peterborough coming in again, keeping a hold of their, their key players is massive. They've also rejoined, uh, or another player that has rejoined. Jack Merritt's come back from Derby. David Cornell's been brought in uh, from uh, from Ipswich as well. Georgie Grant from Lincoln. Josh Knight's been brought from the end 23 at Leicester. Players going out. No major. They've lost Moesa. It's gone to MK Don. But to be honest with you, they're just, just going to be enough to stick in the, in the division. And again, the goals of Clark Harris uh, and Co. will be vital for their, secure, for, for their safety. 66 to 1 for them to 
to stick it out. Uh, into 20 seconds, but we do have Coventry City. That's right. I did stick around last time. Our second season syndrome is going to be massive for them uh, to be here next, this time around. They have been a bit, a bit busy in the, in the transfer market. Brought in Ben Sheaf from Arsenal's youngsters. Martin Wankel has been brought from Derby. Big pickup that is uh, 31 years of age. Simon Moore has been brought from Sheffield United. And Bright Inukabagari is coming from East Bengal. That could be a, a monster signing as well. We don't know too much about him. Uh, Victor Giocas as well from Brighton. Pez going out. Uh, Bakayoko has gone Bolton. Kanstania uh, has gone Zvola. Uh, they've still got, of course, the, the key players that, uh, that did so well with them last time around. Uh, but, of course, we'll see how they do this time around in the second season. Uh, Boogie's odds for them at the moment. The country are actually 40 to 1 at the moment to go the distance. Uh, we'll see about that. Next up, we have, of course, Huddersfield Town. Bigger surprise for me. 23 uh, spot. They will go down in my eyes. Uh, transfer wise, they brought in Jordan Rose. Could get goals for them. Monster signing for them. And I'd like to see him do very, very well. Mike Pearson's also been brought in from Luton Town to strengthen up the back line. Uh, Josh Ruffles at left back as a, as a, a player. Rovers were keeping an eye on, but of course we didn't we didn't do nothing. Well, we've done nothing so far. Uh, players going out. Christopher Schindler's gone to Nuremberg. Uh, Jason Lattwell has gone to Oldham. Pritchard, Alex Pritchard's gone to Sunderland. Absolutely massive signing for them in, in the second tier or third tier. Richard Keogh has also been uh, released. Uh, another whole host of other players. Uma Nyase, Tommy Effick, Richard Stearman, Yannis Oyongo, also been binned off by Huddersfield. A lot of uh, experience going out the door there. Huddersfield, uh, at the moment, they are 50-1. to 1. They are a third favourite alongside um, uh, Derby to go down. And speaking of Derby, they are actually my favourites to go down. 24th spot at the moment. Of course, I do expect... I, I know uh, the, there is, a, of course, the possibility that they could end up in League One this season, but I do anticipate maybe a, po a points deduction which will be hampered by them. And, of course, crippling them at the moment with the, with, with, with transfer business. They can't do much at the moment. Uh, they've lost the likes of Martin Michael, Scott uh, Carson, Jack Marriott, uh, Joseph Hoon's been binned off as well, Jordan Ibe as well, also been binned off by Derby. Yeah, points deduction may be lingering. We'll have to see about that. That and I think they'll go down. Wayne Rooney FC go down League 2 or League 1, sorry. We'll see about that. Into 12th spot, we now have, of course, Cardiff. Uh, of course, last time around, I had them at 13th. Maybe strengthen themselves a little bit. Being a bit of a really active already in the transfer market as well. Bringing the likes of James Collins, who scores goals from Luton. Uh, Ryan Wintle has been born from Crew. Ryan Gillis has been from for the under 23s at Wolves. Uh, Robert Glatzel has gone back to Germany. Uh, Joe Day has been released to Newport County. Sol Bamba has been packed, packed in as well. Uh, Jennifer Williams has been released. Joe Bennett, uh, a player Rovers could be looking at as well. Junior Hoyle has also been relieved currently at the Gold Cup uh, with Canada. Uh, Bookies odds on Cardiff. They're actually uh, in a fifth, a sixth favourites. They're 16 to 1 to go the distance on this one. To be fair, I'm not, I'm not really the biggest believer on that. I think Mick McCarthy's had his chance. He'll have a steady season and again, uh, he'll probably get binned off and I'll stand by that because if, they, if they're not in the seventh or eighth spot by December, he'll be he'll be out the door. That's right. So into 11th spot we have Reading, of course. Last round they flirted with the playoffs for forever, forever more. But of course they missed out last round. Early in May, I did predict them in 11th, so no major change. For them, they have lost Michael Olise, uh, who's left Omar Richard as well. So two of their young guns have gone out the door, uh, as well as the likes of Suna Oluko has been released, Sam Baldock as well. So um, And Thomas uh, Estevez has gone back to Porto um, as well. No in incomings either, so we'll see about that. Um, so, yeah, I do anticipate a bit of a backward season for Reading on this one. 25-1, to 1, they're actually way down the middle of the table. Um, and again, season struggle, season transition. We'll see about that. It's a temp spot. Uh, no change as well here. Blackburn Rovers, that's right. No major change there, no wins. In fact, only Harry Pickering's been brought in. Uh, but the likes of Charlie Mulgrew, Amari Bell, Corey Evans, and Elliot Bennett, uh, Stuart Downing, Lewis Holt, we have Ben Bindoff, youngster Brian Lyons has gone, and Nick Kilmarnock as well. Uh, we're waiting on, the, of course, the future of uh, Adam Armstrong. Will he sign a new contract? Will he go? We're anticipating he will go. Southampton looking around, making bids. Other teams have also been linked, of course, but they need to get that sorted pretty much soon because we need to get replacement. We need we need to strengthen the squad. We've a lot. We, we used to have a shit ton of midfielders, but now we have zero. So we're looking to try and get that fixed up uh, soon. Rovers coming at you, twenty to one, uh, tenth favourites for the title. So that's around about what I have them. Into ninth spot we have Luton Town. Wow, wow, we wow. It's a bit of a surprise here. They're actually forty to one at the moment uh, to go up there, but they have been absolutely tremendous in the transfer market this window. Amari Bell been brought in at left back. Henry Lansbury still thirty years of age from Bristol City. Rhys Burke coming in from Hull as well. Cameron Jerome from MK Don's not really impressed about that. Uh, Alan Campbell. A defensive midfielder, Fred Undenyema coming in from Wickham. Carlos Mendes Gomez, another explosive uh, right sided midfielder. Uh, Admiral Masuke is coming from Leicester's under 23s as well. Players going out, they lost James Collins, P Matty Pearson, Kazinga, Luar, Luar's gone to Turkey. Uh, George Monker, Ryan Tunnicliffe has also gone. It's a bit of a reboot uh, at the moment for Luton Town, but I think it's going to be a, a monster reboot and a finish in ninth uh, for them will be a tremendous season. And again, an upgrade of 17th from, from me last round. So major, major changes for them uh, uh, moving into the season. Into uh, eighth spot, we have middle 
Middles bruh. I had them in six. I had them going up uh, as player one well, up uh, into the playoffs last time around. Of course, they're going a little bit of stagnant at the moment. They brought in uh, Uche Ukabuzi coming from Wickham. Uh, could be a, a bit of a sensational signing. Sammy Amiobi has been brought in as well from Northern Forest. Joe Lumley, uh, Leo Peltier as well, right back from West Brom. Matt Crooks has been brought in, monster signing from uh, from Rotherham. And Dijon Stojanovic has been brought in. I think. I don't know. But they've lost Jordan Archer. It's gone out. Britt Longer has gone to Turkey as well. So that's not happening. Ashley Fletcher, George Saville, Marvin Johnson and Nathaniel Mendes-Lang have all been binned off as well. Middlesbrough coming at you. 20-1. to 1. Six, seven, eight favourites. That's where I have them. That's where I have them right now. Uh, into seventh spot we go with Nottingham Forest. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Of course, Forest coming at you uh, with, uh, with of course, uh, Chris Hewitt at the helm. They bought in the likes of um, Cafu. Not that one. Of course, a new one. Uh, Ethan Hovath coming in from Club Bruges. American goalkeeper there. Nicholas Ayanu has been, uh, has he been brought in? Or is he, is he going out? I think they're all going out. Uh, the likes of Sammy Abiobi is gone. Um, a lot of players, Michael Dawson, Samar So, uh, Diallo, have also been released by the club. So a bit of a, uh, you know, last season they brought him in, trying to res rescue the season, didn't really do it. Uh, I did have them as fourth. They're down to seventh now. Just dropped out of the playoffs in my eyes uh, since my last prediction back in May. They're actually coming at you at uh, seventh favourites as well. So I have as, as well as the bookies on this, uh, on this one. It's a sixth spot. We have AFC Bournemouth. Um, of currently with uh, Mike Matey Boy at Charles. Scotty Park is coming to swap Fulham for Bournemouth. I think he's actually made a bit of a backward step, to be fair. I think Fulham would have been the right choice for him. Uh, they brought in Macundes coming in from Brentford on a free transfer. They like, they've lost Alexa Begovic. Jack Milch has been released. Uh, Nadami Adolfo as well has also been uh, uh, released to, uh, to to Rangers on this one. So, uh, Bournemouth coming in to a fourth favourites, 10 to 1. I don't think so. I think I think they might make playoffs with Scotty Park, but I don't think they'll go the distance. I don't think they'll get Premier League football with this season. Uh, again, uh, Grew the future of him is, is massive. A lot of clubs uh, across Europe and the Premier League are stepping around him and they could, they could lose him. And again, if they lose him late in the transfer window, they might not have a chance to spend that money and, of course, keep their season on track. So for me, sixth spot for Bournemouth. Into fifth spot, we have Fulham again. Uh, brought in uh, Marco Silva. Not really blown away by that managerial appointment. Um, they have uh, Fabio Carvalho been pr promoted from the under-23s. Uh, transfers going out. Bettelini's been released. Lost there. Kevin McDonald also been released as well. Um, some other players have returned to the clubs. Lukeman, uh, Ariola, Josh Major. Also, Joachim Manderson's also been released uh, or gone back to the uh, original clubs. Uh, however, on the flip side, Jean uh, Michael Selly has been returned from Bordeaux. And Abukar Kamara has also been brought, brought back from uh, Dijon as well. So... Um, yeah, I just I don't I don't believe in it. I don't believe in the Fulham. They are actually eleven or two favourites for the promotion. I don't think it. I don't think so. I think they're going to make playoffs. And again with Marcus Silva, I think they they probably lose him during the season, and they'll bring somebody else in to save the season, and, uh, and maybe a maybe a Sam Allardyce to come in and save the day for Fulham. But uh, ultimately, no. Fifth spot for me. Fourth spot, I got Swansea again. I made this a little bit uh, a little bit uh, too soon. Uh, of course, uh, Cooper's gone. Uh, this was probably based on the fact that Cooper will remain, um, and that's been recent. They're looking at John Eustace or Eustace or uh, some other fella. I can't really remember his name, but this will change. When we come back again, this will change. I do anticipate Swansea will not make the playoffs. But uh, for right here, right now, I'm going to go with fourth. Um, I don't really, I can't really see much much going right for them at the moment. Uh, they've lost Andre Ayew. They've lost uh, Declan John as well, even though he wasn't much of a major major loss. Um, but uh, yeah, um, the, the loss of Cooper is massive. That style of football's gone now. Um, so yeah, a bit of a transitional season. They, they could surprise me, but ultimately, uh, fourth. You take that now. Take it now. It is a downgrade from second. I did have them going up uh, with Cooper uh, as automatics, but they're going down now to fourth. But I think when we revisit it, Come the start of the season, that will be maybe like eighth, something like that. Into third spot, we have QPR. Surprise, surprise. Yes, they've been tremendous, I think, in the transfer market, bringing Andre Dizel uh, from Ipswich, Charlie Austin, who does score goals at this level, Jordan Archer as well. Uh, Macaulay Bond's gone out, which is a surprise. I do like him. Uh, Joe Lullum, Lummy's been burned off. Um, uh, Paul Smythe's gone late in Orient as well. I just think, I just think the, they, they, were, they, were, they were cooking in the right direction, was, uh, was QPR. I think they could be the surprise package this time around, of course. Uh, looking forward, they're actually. Uh, 25 to 1 around about uh, I don't know 
Mike for 10 for Lamps. Well, favorite. So it was a bit of a wild card, this one. Uh, but of course, you've got to have a wild card in there and keep your eye on my wild card. I'm not saying they get promoted, but they'll get third. If they don't get promoted from here, they'll kick themselves in the bollocks. Uh, but I think uh, they're attacking style of football. They do score goals. Uh, and I think uh, they've got the ingredients to do very, very well this season. So into third spot, I do have QPR, which is a monster improvement on seventh I had in May. Uh, into second spot, we have Sheffield United. Now, Sheffield United, I've brought in a uh, promotion specialist, Slava Djokovic. Uh, of course, he's coming in. And of course, I think he'll do a fantastic job with the, with the team that he has at the moment. Of course, John Lundstrom has left. Uh, Jack Rodwell has been binned off. They're going to possibly lose Aaron Rams there, which could uh, have a de detrimental effect to their chances. Also, there's a couple of other players that have also been linked with, with departures. Uh, the midfielder, uh, the Norwegian guy, uh, could also be on his way out. So, yeah, but I do anticipate they'll bounce back at the second attempt. Odds for them to go all the way, 8-1 to one for the distance. But, of course, I do have number one spot going in favour of West Bromwich Albion. Of course, uh, they've got Valerian Ishmael, of course, to do a fantastic job with Barnsley. Uh, a tremendous job. Everyone had tipped them to go down. I tipped them to, to, to go down as well. Uh, they've also brought in Alex Mount as well from Barnsley. Matt Clark has been brought in as well. Uh, players going out. Rakim Harper. Uh, Kieran Gibbs has been binned off. Uh, Charlie Austin as well. They've got rid of some of the Deadwood. Hal, Hal robson Carnu as well. Uh, Chris Chicky and Brian, uh, Branislav Elvanovic. A lot of uh, aging players. So it might take a bit of a transitional time. It might not happen right now. Uh, but I do think they'll go up automatically anyway with that stuff. Anyway, that's my thoughts. And of course, let me know your thoughts as well as we look forward to the start of the new season. Will West Brom every night go up or do you think there'll be someone else in there? What if I shot? Well, what about my bold pick for QPR? Can they actually go the distance and make the playoffs or maybe even make top three? Let me know your thoughts. And of course, let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. I look forward to seeing it. And of course, the season is just around the corner. But until then, we are done.